Good morning. Good morning in here. Hi. Good morning. Oh, there's Bibi and Mimi. I got up for you. Purr, 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 purr. Hi, kitties. Mimi. Good morning, purr buckets. Is he purring? Yeah. Meow. Mia, May, guess who was up at 3 o'clock this morning in your room digging in your closet? Normally the cats sleep all night. They're really good about that. And the last two nights, Mia has decided to get up in the middle of the night and do some exploring. Yes. The cats never go in your room in the middle of the night, ever. So that was a little crazy. I'm trying to quietly usher her out of the room. Good, 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 good morning. Paiu, you were full of purrs this morning. Yeah. There's the culprit. Let's get you out of your blankie. Yeah. <laughs> your little chit chats are so cute. Mia. Hey, that's not a scratching post. Speaking of that, we need to get the cat's cat tree. Because Daddy put the cat tree in the back of the storage unit and we can't get to it. And they're going to need something. You may. <sighs> Look at her. She's tearing off the plants everywhere. <sighs> Where is that little booger? I have trouble because I can't really hang the plants on these 10 foot ceilings. I'm trying to not... I'm trying to do as little damage as possible in this. Anyways, I'm trying to do as little damage as possible in this house. So I'm trying to not hang my plants up like they were before. And Mia wants to eat them all the time when she gets hungry. Which is always, because Mia's always hungry. Okay, Mia's being a complete booger this morning. Between waking up last night, trying to eat everything. So we need to take out a little energy. Yeah, that kind. Oh, there's BB. He's been kind of a little amped up too. I haven't been playing enough with them. Obviously. Better? Yeah? And the kitty sprawls out on the tile. She's worn out a little bit. All right, so we have taken the pumps, dumped out the previous contents, rinsed them super good, washed them out with soap, plain soap, and also ran a bunch of water and soap through these guys too. So they're as clean as they're gonna get at this point. Um, if I was using this directly on her, I probably would use brand new ones, but these are just hand soap pumps for us. So we're gonna try this foaming soap recipe first, which is just basically water, um, uh, Castile soap, which I'm gonna use Dr. Bronner's, some, I'm gonna use almond oil, or excuse me, I'm gonna use avocado oil, because it's the only thing I really have. And then I'm probably gonna use some sage for an essential oil scent. All right, let's see, add the oil, close and swish. Okay, let's see how this goes. So we'll see how this works over time. I just filled it up to, with water to about here, did about two tablespoons of Dr. Bronner's, and because this doesn't have any scent to it, I went ahead and added three or four drops of, um, this one's sage, I need to get some lavender. Um, I also have some tea tree, I may do one with tea tree oil. And then I added a couple, um, about a half a teaspoon of avocado oil. I may get some almond oil since that's better for your hands. It doesn't super foam, and part of that might be because we have really hard water, but it foams up a little bit and it gets your hands clean. So that's it. And that was super cheap too. All right, I got two more to make. Oh, this is what naps look like lately. She's trying to transition to one nap, but she's not ready yet. So we try and do two naps and most of the time they end up with her getting up to play. 
All right, two attempts later, and I think she might be going down for a nap. We'll see. She's still awake, but we're staying in bed. Hello, interwebs. Drinking a little LaCroix. I haven't talked to you much today. I've been trying to get some work done. I'm building a small, very small website for a friend. Unfortunately, I only build a website once every couple of years, which means I have to relearn everything, and it takes 10 times as long as it should. What? <laughs> we are struggling to figure out her nap schedule. It is all over the place. So Say hi, interwebs. I'm a little cranky right now. I'm not sure what I want. Anyways, yes, well, she's still in her pajamas because mom's been working all day and frankly this is comfortable and cozy and it's been snowy and stuff today. You need to go to the bathroom. It's been cold and snowy and rainy so I haven't wanted to take a long walk with the baby because the husband's out of town and she's refusing to go to the bathroom in front of the townhome complex. She'll go pee. But we won't go poopy. I know you need a longer walk, so we may have to bundle baby girl up and go for a longer walk. Yes. Townhome life, TL. Everybody thinks you're a boy dog. Do you look like a boy dog? To me, you don't. But you do kind of have a blocky head. I don't. I don't know. You're dainty though. I mean, it's hard to tell in person, but she's only like 60 pounds. And that's a solid 60. Hi, D. What do you think? Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Look at you. You're all bundled up. Look at you all bundled up. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> all right. Let's get you loaded up. The amount of effort just to bundle her up. <laughs> the dog, get her ready to go and get me suited up. Hey. It's not too bad out here. It's a little chilly and brisk, but it's fresh. Where are you going? Reese, come. Good job. Awesome run. Good. That's because there's no distractions. There's a dog or a person at the bottom of that gully. She would not have been running back to me. <laughs> nope. Did you find a controller? It's, it's funny watching them and how much they watch us. And really, we don't watch TV around here. So very little example. And she's got that thing pointed at the TV, hitting the buttons, watching the TV, seeing if she's got something. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like you selected YouTube. Do you have the power? Yeah. Can you say mama? Say mama. Not quite. <laughs> oh. Got yourself in the head. Don't do that. Say mama. Say mama. Mama. What did you turn on? I think you turned a YouTube channel on. Ooh. <laughs> Tobuscus. Tobuscus. Did you watch? She's like, turn it back on. I want to watch Tobuscus. No, we're not watching Tobuscus. <laughs> Say mama. Mama. Say mama. Mama. Nope. See, we're getting there. Oh, we're dancing again. <laughs> you like this song, huh? <laughs> what do you think, B? You look like you want to change the channel. She's like, bye, you get out of the way. I'm watching them dance. Have you got it? <laughs> <laughs> you 
You so want to be able to walk and dance. There's a crazy cat who would like to say goodnight to you. Did you go under the couch? Well, on that note, good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Mm-hmm.